we discussed about the cathode rays. Let us now see how the anode rays are discovered and also its properties. Like J.J. Thompson, Goldstein also carried out similar type of discharge tube experiments. He used a porous cathode tube and found that certain rays were traveling from anode to cathode in the opposite direction to cathode rays. These rays were named as anode rays or canal rays. The smallest unit of the anode ray beam was named as proton. Properties of anode rays are similar to those of cathode rays. Anode rays travel in straight lines. Anode rays deviate their path towards a negatively charged electrode when an electric field was applied. When magnetic field was applied, anode rays were deflected towards south pole. The E by M ratio of anode ray particles was same when different gases were used in a discharge tube. The charge on proton is positive and the value is 1.602 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs and the mass is equal to 1.67 into 10 to the power of minus 24 grams. The mass of proton is about 1837 times that of an electron.